Hey, what's up guys? Thank you for tuning in. Today we're going to talk about five pieces in my collection that I love. If it's in my collection, I love them all, but I'm just going to do videos five by five and just, you know, stories behind it and stuff like that. They're not my top five because I could sit here all night and just break my head which piece is in my top five, but that's why I'm going to do little videos here and there, give you the backstories to them and stuff like that. So, hope you enjoy. Alright guys, the first piece I'm going to show you is a sketch I got from Cause. He did a Halloween contest back in 2013, and I dressed up my son as Wonderwall. Uh, it was a cool project. I had fun doing it. I did it mostly at work, but I had to kill some time at work, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, uh, I won a cool prize. He picked like six winners, and I am very grateful that I was one of the winners. And this is the little sketch. Little one-on-one sketch. Pretty dope. Enjoyed making these little costumes and stuff like that. Um, he did another contest, I believe, back in 2015. My whole family was dressed up as the Kimpsons. Uh, I was picked as one of the winners. Uh, still no prize. Hey, what can I say? Now let's go on to the next piece. All right, the next piece that I love in my collection is by Javier Caleja. He's a artist from Spain, and this piece is called Materiales del Futuro, Materials of the Future. Uh, obviously, he's a big potato face, and then you got the French fries, so you know you need the potato for the fries. But anyways, is definitely, definitely one of my favorite pieces. Our family loved this piece. This piece, um, obviously, is huge. Pause. Uh, we got it from Casta Gallery. Uh, shout out to Casta Gallery and Justin. I got it for a nice, good price. Obviously, his works now are worth way more. Um, I am grateful to own this piece. Javier, Alicia. Javier is an amazing artist. Alicia, his wife, she she has a beautiful heart, beautiful soul. So does Javier. We love them dearly. Um, we appreciate their kindness, their friendship. Um, and another reason why we appreciate this piece even more. You know, if every artist was this way, people would love their pieces every, you know, even more. But some artists are assholes. Hey. But definitely in my top fives. I'm going to say this one is in my top fives. This one for sure. I would never let this piece go. Everybody's in my DM. Can I buy? Can I buy? Can I buy? Can I buy? Sorry, not for sale. I would never sell this piece. I don't care how much money you offer me. Um, it's a beautiful piece, and I am really, really grateful to own it. Now, next piece. Alright, piece number three for this little episode is this piece right here. It's called Mr. Wink Cosmo Ball. It's from the year 2000. It's from the Norton Family Art Project. Um, they usually release pieces throughout the years and they, cho they choose different artists and stuff like that. Um, this is like an edition of 2000 or 3000. Don't quote me. I don't know the exact number, but... This piece was always goals to me, especially when I first started collecting. Uh, this lady in my job, she had one. She has one of these pieces, and that was actually the first time I got to see it in person. And you know, I asked her about it, and she told me about it and stuff like that. 
Um, I didn't say who it's from. Obviously, Takashi Murakami. Sorry. But this piece, I was stalking eBay for years to try to get a deal. I managed to catch it for a good deal. I think I paid like a thousand for it. Um, you could probably still catch decent deals on this one. I've seen galleries that sell it for four thousand. But this is a beautiful piece to own. Uh, it could come out, you know, pretty cool. And then this piece, it opens up like a little egg. It comes with a disc. Uh, the disc is somewhere in the house. I don't know why, but I definitely gotta look for it. And then this piece comes out. Hopefully one day I'll catch Takashi to sign this piece. But it's one of my favorite pieces to own. And that must hurt. But anyways, very grateful, very grateful. All right, let's go to number four. All right, guys, this piece is definitely in my top five. So I guess you know that the Javier piece is in my top five. This one's in my top five. Uh, I'm going to say the core sketch is going to be in my top five because that was a project involved with my son. So I guess we narrowed it down. Three out of the five, hey. But anyways, this piece means so much to me. It's my first poor insect painting. I always thought I wasn't able to afford a poor insect painting. I managed to finally get one. I got this, by the time I got this painting, it landed on my birthday, um, I got it back in 2014, I got it from, uh, by that time it was called Opera Gallery, but now they're uh, Alouche Gallery, shout out to Alouche Gallery, George, Eric, um, I am grateful, I am honored to own this beautiful piece, she is my favorite poor insect piece, I will never let her go, um, Whoever comes into the house, they fall in love with her instantly. Um, and they always pick her out of all the insect pieces that I own as their favorite as well. Um, the colors, the details, it's, it's fucking amazing. Um, Paul, Paul is one of the best out there. You're going to see in a few years, that guy's going to take over the fucking world. I love his art. And I love this face right here. So... Definitely top five. Alright guys, so this is going to be the last piece for this video, and I promise to make other videos showing my other favorite pieces. This piece is weird, so cut me some slack on this one, but I always wanted this piece ever since I saw it. He's from, he's one of my favorite artists, Andre Sadeva, and when people come to the house, they laugh, and they wonder why the fuck I bought it. But it's a cool piece. It's weird, but I don't know. Alright, and there's the guy right here. It's called Viagra Mickey. It's from 2009. And this is why it's weird. You know, why would I want a piece that Mickey Mouse is holding? Well, not holding, but his thing is out. And FYI. I do not dust this piece. I do not clean this piece. I just let it sit. I wait for the missus to clean around the house. And the day she decides to dust it off, I just sit there and laugh. But anyways, it's a dope piece. I believe he has a Bart Simpson, similar way. That's a gold piece that I want as well. But I always wanted this piece, not because of this. But it's fucking sick. It's heavy as fuck. I forgot what it's made out of, but it's from 2009. I got this on, on auction, uh, Pad 08. Shout out to Pad 08. 
Shout out to Alan. And it's, just, it's, it's dope. It's different. Again, people come home, they start fucking laughing at it. Like, what the fuck is this? But it's sick, you know. I got the, the ex. Andre's ex. Andre's, you know, little eye. Um, and it's dope. Like, come on. I remember when my son, when I first brought it home, he was just looking at it like, what the fuck is that? But it's sick. I love it. Not because of this, but it's a dope piece. Uh, Andre, cool ass artist. I actually saw him the other day. He came in cool little sketch. I'll probably show you in another video. Um, like I said, it's heavy. Uh, he also have like bronze pieces, same style, a little bit bigger. He has a little, he has a black one, and this one has like a little shimmer to it, like a little glitter. But Viagra Mickey, one of my five favorite pieces, and yep, weird. Sorry. Alright guys, thank you for watching the video, um, definitely making more, showing you my favorite pieces in that collection, and don't forget, collect what you love, collect what you like, fuck the hype, whatever you feel here and here, just buy it, don't listen to anybody else, it's for you, it's for your passion, and you know, share with your, you know, your family, your friends, whatever, but you like how you know I'm talking more, right? Yeah, I'm getting used to this shit. But, nah, seriously, appreciate it. Thank you. Until next time.